No one wants to spend any time in prison, but for some people, even spending time behind bars can bring about belly laughs. Such was depicted in the hit UK sitcom Porridge, which ran for three series from 1974 to 77. Join Facts vs UK to learn about how each Porridge cast member died. Ronnie Barker Ronnie Barker is highly regarded as one of the titans of British comedy, and his role in Porridge is one of the works that led to this reputation. He played the endearing prisoner Norman Stanley Fletcher in Porridge and its spin-off series Going Straight. His journey in acting began with theater roles in productions such as Treasure Island and A Midsummer Night's Dream. His breakthrough arrived in 1966 with The Frost Report, where he met his future co-stars David Jason and Ronnie Corbett. During his career, Barker worked on numerous television shows, but his role in Porridge earned him a special place in the hearts of fans. His portrayal of the crafty but lovable Fletcher was so great, Barker received a BAFTA Tribute Award in 2004. Barker's life away from the screen was quiet and family-focused. He was married to Joy Tubb, with whom he had three children, Larry, Adam, and Charlotte. His daughter Charlotte, like her father, ventured into acting and worked alongside him in episodes of Open All Hours. Sadly, Ronnie's health began to deteriorate, mainly due to his smoking habit. This led him to announce his retirement in 1985. Despite that, he made occasional appearances on television shows like The Two Ronnies Sketchbook. He passed away October 3, 2005. Richard Beckinsale Richard Beckinsale played the lovable Lenny Godber in Porridge. His journey to stardom started in a local bus company as an upholsterer, but his dreams were much bigger and he wanted to learn the craft of acting. This eventually led him to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, where he honed his acting skills. He made his television debut in 1969 in Coronation Street before landing the role of Lenny, which became one of his most famous characters. Of course, it wasn't limited to porridge, he also starred in other notable programs like The Lovers and Rising Damp. Beckinsale aspired to take on even more roles as he matured, demonstrating his commitment to his craft. He was dedicated to becoming a star and wanted to take advantage of the stardom he received on porridge. He was also known to be a poet, and much of his poetry was published following his death. Off-screen, Beckinsale was a family man. He was married twice and had two daughters, Samantha and Kate Beckinsale, the latter becoming a successful actress in her own right. Sadly, Richard's life was tragically cut short when he died in his sleep from a heart attack, March 19, 1979, at age 31. The death came as a shock and it was the result of coronary heart problems that came from having high cholesterol. He was young and rather fit, so no one expected he'd die so young. But in 31 years, he achieved what most of us don't achieve in a lifetime. Fulton McKay Fulton McKay was a distinguished Scottish actor whose career spanned several decades. He was born August 12, 1922 in Paisley, Scotland, and he eventually became one of the most respected figures in British theatre and television. Fulton McKay's early career was marked by his strong stage presence. He honed his craft in numerous theatrical productions, performing in esteemed venues like the Royal Shakespeare Theatre. His impeccable stage presence and ability to embody a wide range of characters garnered praise from critics and audiences alike. His work was serious but only appreciated by theater crowds. To make it big, he had to appear on television. And oddly enough, his claim to fame wasn't on an open stage but in a closed prison. His most iconic role came in the 70s when he played Mr. McKay, the authoritarian prison warder, in Porridge. McKay's portrayal of the no-nonsense, rule-obsessed officer provided a perfect foil to Ronnie Barker's lovable inmate character, Norman Stanley Fletcher. The dynamic between McKay and Barker was the linchpin of the series, and their on-screen chemistry, or perhaps their on-screen tug-of-war, is still loved by fans today. McKay's performance showcased his exceptional comedic timing and his versatility as an actor. He could transition effortlessly from humor to moments of genuine seriousness, earning him praise and solidifying him as one of the most well-rounded actors of his time. When the series ran for three successful seasons and two spin-off feature films, it solidified McKay's status as a TV icon. 
Beyond Porridge, McKay continued to grace television screens with memorable roles in series like Ripping Yarns and The Rivals of Sherlock Holmes. He was also a fixture in British cinema, appearing in films such as Local Hero and Gregory's Girl. He died at age 64 in England due to stomach cancer. Brian Wilde Brian Wilde, one of Britain's most popular character actors, was born June 13, 1927 in ashton under Lyne, Lancashire. His early career included a strong presence in the theatre scene where he honed his craft and gained valuable experience. However, it was in the realm of television that he achieved widespread recognition and enduring fame. His most iconic role was when he portrayed the compassionate and mild-mannered prison warder Mr. Barrowclaw in Porridge. Wilde's portrayal of Barrowclaw provided a stark contrast to the strict and often comically harsh demeanor of his superior, Mr. McKay. Barrowclaw's character was a foil to McKay's, and his well-meaning, trusting nature endeared him to both audiences and the inmates. The dynamic between Wilde and Barker was a key factor in the show's immense popularity. Brian Wilde's performance in Porridge showcased his exceptional talent for understated comedy. His ability to convey humor through subtle expressions and gestures was a testament to his acting prowess. Despite his relatively small role, Wilde's presence on screen left an unforgettable impression. Beyond Porridge, he continued to grace television screens with appearances in various series, including Last of the Summer Wine. He died March 20, 2008 at age 80 following an illness due to a fall. Sam Kelly Sam Kelly was born December 19, 1943, in Manchester. Over the course of his career, he left an indelible mark on entertainment. His early career saw him establish himself as a respected stage actor, and he performed in a number of successful theatrical productions. But it was his entry into television that propelled him to wider recognition, and his role as the affable and bumbling inmate Bunny Warren in Porridge became a highlight of his career. Kelly's performance in Porridge showcased his exceptional comedic timing and ability to bring warmth to his character. His chemistry with the rest of the cast, particularly Barker, contributed significantly to the show's success. Sam Kelly continued to impress with his acting prowess, appearing in numerous British television series including Hello, Hello and On the Up. He was also lauded for his work with famed British director Mike Lee, and acted in his films Topsy Turvy, Knock Knock, Grown Ups, All or Nothing, and A Running Jump. He died in 2014 at age 70 after a battle with cancer. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character on Porridge? Let us know in the comments section below. My house, my house reflects my wife.